Daily Message, May 13, 2024. In Psalm 1, verses 1 through 2, it is written, How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the paths of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Theologically, wickedness is defined as that which is evil and contrary to the will of God, such as is described in Isaiah 26, verse 10. Though the wicked is shown favor, he does not learn righteousness. He deals unjustly in the land of uprightness and does not perceive the majesty of the Lord. Wicked, wickedly, and wickedness is mentioned 482 times in the Bible. While the term wicked is often in the general sense of wrong, it refers specifically to evil, not in its moral or judicial sense, but in its active form, such as mischief. As such, it denotes perversity of mind, by which one surrenders himself to evil impulses. Wickedness has its seat in the heart and is inspired by Satan. It is progressive and contagious in its manifestation. As in Psalm 1, verses 1 through 2, the Psalms frequently contrast the righteous and the wicked. And throughout the scriptures, there is a strong insistence on the certainty of punishment for all who are wicked. It is by wicked works that unbelievers are alienated from God. But those who are progressing in faith have overcome the wicked one. For the shield of faith is a sure defense against his attack. As suggested in Psalm 1, verse 2, part of that shield of defense being to know the word of God and to meditate on it day and night, such that one recognizes that which is not of God and is not in line with God's will. May these words of the psalmist be true of us. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence, for I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not turned from my God to follow evil. I have followed all his regulations. I have never abandoned his decrees. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.